right, hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, some pack openings in uh, Gods Unchained. So I've been playing quite a bit of this uh, and enjoying it. I'm probably going to do a free-to-play series where I do an account with uh, spending no money on it and see how much a how much we can earn and b um, the main priority of it. See how high we can get in ranking. See if we can get to mythic eventually over the course of a few months uh, just through free-to-play and uh, see how that goes. I think that'd be a fun series to do. Uh, but for today, we're gonna open some packs. Uh, I bought 100 rare packs for now. I'm probably gonna buy more in the future. Uh, it's just kind of fun to open packs. And there's a mythic card out there, one of one unique. So that's obviously uh, the main goal, but uh, obviously the odds of that are, you know, astronomical. You're more likely to just win the Powerball uh, than you are to win that. So, not really uh, going to be expecting or even vaguely hoping for that, really. It's just uh, something cool that's out there. And uh, mainly opening packs, what we're looking for is uh, diamond uh, shiny cards. And we're looking for cards we don't have yet. Just to add and fill out the collection. So 100 packs cost me about $200. So we'll see how much <coughs> we get out of it. We'll see if... Uh, Ooh, nice gold and a shadow. I've already got a couple of these actually in shadow. Um, but we can see if any of these are worth anything. Let's see, spell slinging. Nah, it's worth under a dollar. Scuttler. Yeah, even in gold is worth under a dollar. So, no value there. Nothing. Ooh, we got a legendary. That's what we're looking for. It's worth about three bucks, so made money on this pack. It's not uh, not something that happens very often. Summon a creature from another domain, give it plus one, plus one. I haven't seen that card before, so. Definitely don't have it in my collection. A lot of these I don't have in my collection, so. Good to fill out the collection. That's the main purpose of opening packs, anyway. It's just to fill out the collection. It's a losing money proposition to open packs by quite a margin. I think the average value of a pack is like a dollar ten or something, and they cost two bucks. You lose a pretty good amount opening packs, but it is entertaining, and it is uh, you have that tiny, tiny chance of getting something really good. And uh, you know, if you get a good diamond legendary uh, from these, those are worth quite a bit. Ooh, there's a shadow. I had a shadow common, so it's not gonna be worth anything. There's a legendary. For how often, and that's worth almost four bucks, so that's kinda nice. But uh, yeah, for how often legendaries pop up in rare packs, I really, that was my other consideration was maybe buying legendary packs, but given how often legendaries pop up in rare packs, I don't see the value in grabbing a uh, legendary pack. And epic packs are definitely not worth it. Nothing from that one. We're gonna try and sprint through these as quick as we can here. It'll take a little while to open 100 of them. taking a look at. Ah, it's 
It's only a dollar fifty, so not even money back on the pack for a gold rare. Unfortunate. Uh, but that's probably yeah. That's definitely not a uh, meta card, not usable. So an epic and a legendary from this pack. That's not something you see every day. It's sent off. It's a five dollar card. And Yukos in the Eclipse is a dollar forty. No, that's thirty cents. All right. But that legendary uh, pays for a couple of packs. Not that I'm going to sell it anyway. I don't really sell a whole lot of cards. If I get more than a play set, I'll probably uh, sell them. Like if I have extra copies of something that's worth over a dollar, I'll probably sell it just because no sense in holding on to it. Ooh. Flame Tempered Paladin Gold. Yeah, it's worth a couple of dollars, so money back on the pack. We've already seen that shadow, uh, shadow common in these packs so far, so duplicate of that. Now I have a play set of that in shadow. Play set, of course, being two of anything that isn't a legendary and one of a legendary. So if we get duplicate legendaries, I'll probably sell those. But honestly, I wouldn't, uh, unless the card is very heavily in the meta, I wouldn't recommend generally selling any cards right now. Uh, while we're in this bear market and there aren't a whole lot of, uh, the player base isn't at its all-time highs by any means right now, so. Thirteen, thirteen. I haven't seen uh, that one before. Only a common, though. Ooh, that's a dupe. Gotta try and pick up the pace here a little bit. We still have 67 more packs to open. There we go, a shadow into a uh, into a gold. Home guard. I've definitely seen that card played quite a bit too. Uh, only worth a dollar in shadow, so. But I'll probably use that card. Actually, I think I'll probably use both of these in different decks, so. It's kind of nice to get some uh, 
get some shinies that I'll actually uh, put into decks. Nothing exciting here for a little while. Hopefully we're going to hit another uh, interesting pack. survival and shadow that might be worth something this card has been being used uh, quite a bit lately yeah six dollars in shadow that's uh, probably the most valuable card we've pulled so far but uh, I'll use that in a deck so I won't actually be selling that I might sell one of my uh, one of my other unannounced survivals that are normal cards because I won't need a third copy Or however many copies I have of that card now. I'll probably that's one of the ones I'll probably sell the extras of. Just because it's very heavily in the meta right now. That's a hit. That's a big hit. Dagon and Shadow is $67. That's a big hit. I will be using that, and I will sell my original Dagon that I bought as a single. So that's really $36 for me, because I'm going to use that Shadow Dagon in my nature deck. Oh, that's a huge hit right there. That's a $2 pack into a $67 card. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful one there. That's a very pretty card. Now, if only it could have been diamond instead of shadow. The di diamond version is uh, worth over half an ETH, so. Just to give a little bit of a comparison. You know, 0.028 ETH for the Shadow version, half an ETH for the Diamond. Mm. But that is a beautiful card right there. Dagon is a very in the meta, very good card. Nature Regen is very popular. And Dagon is pretty much an absolute must-have staple of that deck. And I don't really think Dagon will ever go completely out of the meta. Also, for those still watching, uh, sorry about this, but this the audio is probably going to be all over the place on this video. This is the first time I'm recording... Uh, a video of pack opening, and uh, it was way louder than I expected, so I expect that I'm not going to be able to fix the audio completely, and uh, 
in editing. So there's another unannounced rival. It's a couple dollars. But uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to fix it completely. So expect the audio to be kind of all over the place. I will uh, do better for the next... Uh, for the next time I do a pack opening or uh, when I do the free to play series. Ooh, Land of the Dead. I actually think that's one of the few epics that has a little bit of value, right? Oh, not really. No. Epics, epics kind of got destroyed in this. Uh, from my understanding, they were better in other sets, but this one they changed the epic packs to be. Uh, two epics per epic pack for like four dollars so epics since there aren't that many of them kind of got destroyed in value enthusiastic fire slinger not worth anything even in shadow there's a legendary kaya conduit of the gods Huh. Not bad, actually. Ten bucks. But i that's my first copy of that, so I'll be keeping it. But ten dollars ain't bad for a two dollar pack. Obviously, the vast majority of these, all the ones I'm skipping, and not saying anything about, it's because they're, they're worth probably about thirty cents on a two dollar pack, so... Yeah, even this one, like it looks like it should be good. It's got a shadow card, it's got a shiny. Yeah, that's that's worth like three cents. So don't get don't get too excited about uh, or think you want to buy packs. This uh, if anything, this should be an advertisement for not buying packs. Even though we hit that shadow dagon, which is extraordinarily rare to hit the in meta legendary, that is the most expensive card in the entire set, is Dagon. As far as the legendaries go from this uh, this set, that is the card you want to hit, and we hit a shiny version of it. And I almost guarantee you we're not going to make break even on the two hundred dollars, even though we hit that. Or if we do, we're just barely going to break even with getting extremely lucky. So definitely, if you're looking to play uh, Gods Unchained, just buy singles. Do not buy packs. Just buy singles, especially right now when we're in when we're in this bear market. But I enjoy opening packs and I'm having fun, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, just because I enjoy it. Ooh, that's an eight dollar card. Nice. Just because I enjoy it and I want to fill out my set and I want to get some shinies. Um, but yeah, it's it's a money losing proposition. Actually, gotten quite a number of shiny cards in this set. No diamonds, though. Ooh, I think that is the first time I've gotten that card. Dahlia. Ah, five bucks. Not too bad. I've got Token Trove open on my other monitor. If anybody's wondering how I'm checking prices right away.
Nothing interesting for a little while here. Time to pull another legendary. Ooh, golden rare. We'll take a look at that one. Just for something to check on. Add uh, money back on the pack, two dollars. Ooh, it's a nice little shadow common to get. It's not really worth anything, but it's uh I'll use that in my deck, so. Once I get done buying, I'm gonna buy more packs in this eventually, I'll probably do more. Ooh, that's a good goal to get too. Uh, again, not worth anything, but I'll use it in my uh, magic decks. It's kinda cool to get some shinies that you'll actually use. At least I think it is. But yeah, once I'm done opening packs, uh, eventually, I'll probably want to go through and up all of my packs to the, uh, whatever shiny cards I got for them. Love to hit a uh, diamond card of any type, even a common. Since I have yet to get a diamond card, and I've opened, I think this will be 200 packs at the end of this. I didn't record the first set of 100 that I did, or maybe it was only 50. I don't remember. I opened some packs the first. Uh, the first couple of days that I played this, uh, just to see what it was like. I have no clue what the odds are on getting a diamond. Ooh, Shadow Rare. Not bad. But, not a card I see a lot of use, so Shadow Rare probably not going to be worth anything. Another Shadow. Last pack. Alright, let's see what we get. 23 minutes, not too bad of a time to open these. Brink Watcher, Shadow Epic. But because it's an epic, it's probably pretty worthless. Yeah, 60 cents for a uh, for a shiny epic. Of course, it's not a very useful uh, epic, and uh, yeah, it's an epic. So epics kind of got destroyed in uh, in the set. But yeah, that's it. We did get a, we will go over, actually I need to go to workshop. Workshop, we are going to use that Dagon copy. Oh yeah, there we go. Shadow Dagon. Love to see it. Absolutely going to use that. Oops, save deck. All right, I'm gonna have to go through and uh, up all of these. I'm gonna wait until uh, wait until I finish opening packs because I'm probably gonna open some more. Uh, probably will record a video of those. I don't know if I'll upload them. It depends on uh, if people like this uh, video or not. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time again. Do not buy packs. They are not worth it. Uh, I will go over actually real quick on my account and see what the value is. All right, it hasn't updated yet. Um, but when it updates, it'll be interesting to see what my collection value is uh, roughly. It doesn't look like it's updated because it's this exact same as it was before. So either we exactly broke even or it hasn't updated yet. So we'll see. Uh, it's possible that we came pretty close to breaking even just because of that Shadow Dagon, uh, which is uh, pretty decent. Got a good chunk of our money back just from that. But uh, yeah, buy singles. Don't don't buy packs. They're a complete waste of money. They're not worth it. Uh, but if you are uh, 
the type that's just playing for fun and want to buy them just to uh, just to buy them and just to have the fun of opening them and don't mind losing a bit of money you're gonna lose about a dollar a pack you're gonna lose about half your money every single time you open a pack uh, so keep that in mind but uh, I had fun I'm gonna keep doing it uh, I would definitely say watch watch pack openings instead of doing it yourself and just buy singles so see you next time hope you enjoyed thanks for watching Thank you.